Who do I save? Carly's been helpful though. Like she's really been about that life. It's not letting me do anything. Oh. Hello. Happy Saturday. Back at it again a brand new game well not a new game but a new new series uh the walking dead um i have seen somebody play through the entire series but it's been a while and that doesn't mean that my experience will be different so i'm excited to dive in all right how it all started as the world ends lee everett looks for redemption and fights to protect a young clementine so we got baby clem in the house baby clem is what we're gonna call her for now until she gets uh turned into the real g that she does at the end uh let's do this all right, episode one, a new day. Let's do this. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Hope everything is working. Okay, in association with Skybound Entertainment. It looks like my mic is working, so that's important. And the desktop audio is working. Cool. Love that. All right, let's do this. You know, the the fascination that, I don't know, I guess we as people have with zombie apocalypses is interesting. Like, there's so many variations of the same story. Like, zombie apocalypse games, movies, TV shows. And I just feel like none of them are actually similar to what's at, what would really happen. Like, I just feel like a real zombie apocalypse would be nothing like any of these series, games, movies, or anything. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? Why do you say that? Wait! You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. I was trying to scroll. <laughs> about now, I get the, I didn't do it. Okay, so apparently this, um, uh, um, uh, I really don't care. Well, and what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. So, okay, that's how I, that's how I look around. So we're riding on the highway. Now aim the target at the rear view mirror, okay? I followed your case a little bit. Yep, you why? Thinking, boy and all. <laughs> What'd you think? So you're for making then I wanna say so you got an opinion. You got an opinion then? What you think? I wouldn't say that. I go in for that innocent till proven guilty thing. Even considering who they say you kill. I forgot who he killed. I know he killed somebody. Wasn't it his wife uh cheating on him? So he killed I got an love up at UGA. <laughs> you teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? It's like, sir, I don't want to talk about that if that's... You want to know how I see it? Who I kill? Not really, but go ahead, tell me. Look at all them cop cars! Sure. No! <laughs> it's like, get on with it! Regardless, <laughs> could be you just married the wrong woman. Not you married the wrong woman. I mean, it'd be... No, I'm not going to say that. Uh, I don't want to say anything. Why do you have to... <laughs> Sir, why are you growling? Not a helicopter. You that's when you know it's not good. That's when you know. All them cop cars, now they got a helicopter out. Mm -mm. I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. I don't he care. Stop going on about how I he didn't do it. Do not care about him. He was an older fella. Big soft eyes just, on a pair of Just drive me to jail. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. 
crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Officers are available for incoming to one and before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. I do not I care. Tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. Zap him? You mean so shoot him? So he having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Not his mama. mama. It's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Okay. Maybe he was innocent. I don't Maybe know. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. Not cutting her he up. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Okay, so maybe he did do it. But it goes to show. I don't care. They pull up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Just drive me to the prison, well, I please. I got another good one for you. I do not this care. This one's a little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other time... <laughs> Officers have been looking at the, the choices. You trying to get us? This is, this is loud. Okay, sir, you trying to get us killed? Why are you turning back and looking at me? Focus. Now you didn't hit a, hit somebody, a zombie, but. Yikes. All right, let's go. Mm. All right, they didn't take long to get into the action. They said we are in it. In it to win it. I was going to say, though, that being open like that is dangerous. Like, considering who you're transporting. Thirsty. Not thirsty. Ah, fuck. My leg. I forgot how much it hurts in this game. Now I'm getting ejected. I found a way to get out of the car. Use the mouse. What is this? Why the hell did he have his gun out? How do I? How do I get out of here? How do I? Oh, thank you. Oh. Uh. Do I do it again? Uh. Okay. Uh. Come on! Thank you. I'm like put your back into it. Now move towards the window. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay. Can I look I first? Need oh. To drag myself out that I window. didn't know that that's what I was gonna do. Okay. Oop. This is louder than I anticipated. Oop. We really could have died. He should have been paying attention because how did we spin off the road like that? Just because you hit somebody. Oh. I do not remember all this blood. You out here with a busted leg. Go ahead and get that shotgun because I'm not even about to play with him. Where are you going? Stop. Get the gun. Can I get the gun? There's a bullet. What? Can I do anything with that? Will it let me do anything? So you just going to hobble around with your funky little leg? Oh. The officer's shotgun is over there. That's it. That's all that was. What is this? And a bullet? I, I can't pick it up. Let me get the keys. Off of buddy. Your leg is busted, my dude. Cause I can't shoot a shotgun with my hands. Alright, they're my keys. They're the keys. He better not jump up. He better not. Oh. Cause I up oh, I know you lying. He better not jump up. Cause I will wh wiki stomp you in the head, sir. I am not afraid. Oh. Now don't drop him. Goofy. Thank you. Oh. Officer. Nah, bro. Oh. Oh. Get up. up. Goofy. Oh, oh back. Are, are we doing this right now? I'm like, Get away from if, me. if you don't hurry up. And grab the bullet. Oh my god, we're gonna die because he's taking forever. Get the gun. Where are you? A zombie. What do you mean, Goofy? Oh, bro, are you serious? Nah, Lee. I thought you. 
I thought you were better than that. Don't make, do this. Don't make you. I will shamelessly back up. Don't make me do this. You better light him up. I thought Lee was the homie. I didn't remember him acting like that in the beginning. I have to turn it around. You better get up. Help! Go get someone. The Is that baby clown? There's been a shooting. Nothing has been a shooting. Get up. <laughs> Who's that? Who's that? He can't even move good. Lee. 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 I need you to tighten up because you right now, you acting like you want to die. You stumbling and falling over everything. Y'all be weak in the knees. Stop. Stop looking behind you. I am so disappointed right now. I really thought Lee was better than that because he was he was not doing what he needed to do. Get up. Get up, Goofy. You just want to scoot, booty scoot everywhere. Get up. Oop. Please distract him. Because Lee trying to die. Don't get comfortable. Get up. I am so disappointed with him right now. Please Hello. Get Anybody. <laughs> I know you lying. I I know you lying. If you, can we go inside the house, please? I'm sick of him. I wonder if anybody's home. I'll do your butt up the stairs. I'm sick of you. Sick of you. Is there anything I can't turn? I can't look. Okay, let's just. Can we just get inside? I wonder if anybody's <laughs> home. Don't repeat it, that because that's. <laughs> Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. If you don't bust that door down, coming in. <laughs> don't shoot, okay? Not coming in, okay. If you don't walk up inside the house and shut the door behind you, I'm sick of him. <laughs> He's stupid. I'm ah. sick of him. You better wrap your leg up, please. Stop all that yelling. I'm not an intruder. Stop all what that the yelling. Baby, ain't nobody in the house. These people might need more help than I do. Goofy. What's over here? What? What's over here? I got a coloring book. Uh, not baby Clem coloring. Oh, that took entirely too long. What is this? Pool of blood. Oh, Jesus. I know you lying. Oh, so much to investigate. Can we find this man a weapon? Because he is he, not right now. He is not a walkie talkie. That's important. Why are you looking around like that? Okay. Mm, what's over here? Can we, what was that? What, what was that? Do I? What is this? What? How do I open up the walkie-talkie? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna just keep pulling drawers over. Find this man a weapon. Why does he keep walking in circles? What is that? Yeah. And how do I check the walkie-talkie? How do I check the walkie-talkie? I'm I'm pressing. This place has been ransacked. Ah. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. I don't know how to check the walkie-talkie. I'm so sorry, baby Clem. How do I do it? Three new oh, that's the voicemail machine beeping. Cause I'm like, not take a cup of water. Don't, what? You just drank that without even making sure that it wasn't. <sighs> Let me go check this doggone thing. 
You need a, to wrap your leg up. Don't don't fall again, because I will be upset. I'm coming. Dang. Three new messages. Message one left at 5.43 p.m. Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message 2, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. What a babysitter. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. No. Okay. Now what? Daddy? Ooh. Huh? I'm not your father, sweet Eric. Hello? You need to be quiet. Okay. <laughs> if you don't sit down. Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not my daddy. Sorry, I am no, not. I'm not. Where are you going? Nah. Uh, we know where the parents are. How I, old are you? She's a eight. Oh, baby. And you're all alone? Yes. <laughs> I don't know where anybody is. Poor baby. How old are you? <laughs> I'm, uh, don't worry about 37. that. I'm not 37. Okay. <laughs> she said, okay. <laughs> where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Okay, where are you? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Precious baby. No. I didn't know we had action commands. Oh my god! This man concussed! I hate him! I hate- Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Lee, get up! Baby Clem about to out here outdo you, cause you- You trying to die! Again? Please give me the hammer. Ooh. Please give me the hammer, baby girl. Give me that. Oh, my baby. If you don't mash her face in. I'm not done. Give me another one. Give me another one. Uh, give me another one. I am not done until it is squashed. Poor baby girl. Man. Hi there. You all out of breath and stuff. Sorry. Tighten up. Oh, poor baby. Did you kill it? Poor baby. Uh, yes. Yes. It's okay. I think she was a monster. Uh, I think so, too. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Poor baby. I think that might be a little while. You know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? 
Uh, get out of here. What? What's we need to find help before it gets dark. Honestly, we just need to get out of yeah, here. It's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. You said get out of here once the sun goes down. That'd have been stupid. Can we get the hammer? We so we just gonna walk out with no weapon? And you got busted legs and can't do nothing. Where's the hammer? This is this is silly, but alright, let's go. Clem, hold up. Wait for me. She just turned on the jets. Hold on, baby girl. Is there anything out here that we need to investigate? Uh, uh, oh man! I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. <laughs> Not hot dish night. Come on, let's go. Let's see what they up to. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? Baby girl, they are not coming home. Mm. I won't leave you alone. But well, we're not let's go somewhere safe. Well, we're not close. Safe. Okay. Right. I was like, we're not saying here, idea. but. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Mm. Do you know what the hell this is? No idea. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. Um. Uh, not just some guy. Uh, babysitter. Her babysitter. <laughs> Her parents are out of town. Oh no. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. <laughs> Was I not supposed to say that? Was that a lie? What do you want to do? Was that a mistake? I. Girl, we cannot stay here. The monster's coming. We gotta go. We gotta go. Like, I'm sorry, baby girl. Let's go. Quick. Let's go. Come on, get the hobbling. You can do it. Put your back into it. Go. What? Why are we stopping? Come on, baby Clem. She said, "Y'all take it too long." Why is the screen getting red? Get in the car! As babysitters go, I'd say your parents owe you a tip. <laughs> Not a tip. Baby Clem had to come help y'all push that car. Y'all should be embarrassed. <laughs> it's nighttime already. They live out in the country country. Ooh, Zindi, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hey, Sean. I'm gonna run on home. Hey, Sean. My mama's gonna be in a snit. Your mama Let's might be sweat, dead. Man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. Go for it. It was nice to meet you both. Did they have to sound so country? Because they're from Georgia. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. Who's this? You brought a couple guests. Ugh. We just need a little help. That's not what I wanted. Good. You're welcome to stay here. Why? 
I don't run a bed and breakfast. <laughs> Why so it's just did you it do and that? Your daughter, then. Not my daughter. Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Oh God. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Okay then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. Please get me Might some peroxide and a bandage. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Not on the porch. <laughs> so you can't come to my, come to my house. That's Let's all you have a look. I'm just gonna wrap it. We can't get no yeah. neosporin. to hell. At least some soap and water. <laughs> Could be worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. Yeah. What did you say your name was? I did. I'm not gonna be rude. It's Lee. <laughs> nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Hey. How'd this happen? Uh, I'm gonna just say jumping, jumping the, fence. the fence. You don't need to Riding know that was something. I was in a car, uh, just like everybody else. Why are you doubting what me? What type of danger has the girl seen? Uh, she's seen enough. She's seen enough. The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there. When we're Who done said here. she's my daughter? I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. <laughs> Sweet baby. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Um, looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. You don't I don't seem know necessary. What you saw on TV Listen, sir. Movie. I don't know There's what you saw on Fox News. Shit. But I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. <laughs> Your son is Your right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. On Fox Tell News, I said there, that zombies aren't real. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Me and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it, really. You sure? Wait till morning okay. is a good, good idea. Uh, I already well, don't I'm like all him. Done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. You didn't put Thanks. no type of cleaning solution. Like high. we needed to clean that. To down. You're probably dealing with an infection. It's gonna get infected because we didn't clean what it. Do then? Chop it off. I'll probably hmm? just have to shoot you. Not shoot you. I know you've been waiting to get you. We'll Wait, clean so. it, redress it, and you'll be fine. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> Okay. Clean it. Should have cleaned it first. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Are they really gonna put us in the barn? Tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Mm. Towards making, I suppose. She wanna go to Savannah. That's where her people at. All right then. He is annoying. <laughs> like I already do not like him. They really got us on some cots in the barn. It smells like poop. Yeah. Honestly. Shit. <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. Clean. That was a swear. You don't have to get over it, baby girl. No, that was a swear. I miss my mom and dad. Poor baby. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Far enough. Pretty far. Oh. Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna make it there tomorrow, sweetie. Hold on. Be patient. <laughs> How could you even sleep? I would need to like at least climb up there. Oh, <laughs> not him dreaming about his old life. Did he kill the wife? I don't remember. I guess it's gonna come out. I can't remember if he killed the wife and the man she cheated on um, on him with, or both. We'll find out. Hey, get up! Yep. Oh, the homie. I'm itchy. <laughs> well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't probably, have spiders in your head. Probably got fleas now. But I bet Why your would you daddy say that scared her? them all away. Not huh? your daddy. Uh, not her father. Basically, <laughs> I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. Oh, the this... tractor and everything. Can't stand him. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. Right. If y'all don't put yourselves to work, Herschel. Ken Jr. 
They call him Duck, though. What? What kind of nickname is Duck? Dodging or quacking? No. Quacking. You're not dodging Dad. or quacking. And it keeps See? flipping over to the mouse. Like, stop doing that. The word is, you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. <laughs> no, no, no. What? <laughs> um... Shh, maybe? Hey. Let's see how things shake out with this Herschel guy. <laughs> Good luck with that. I didn't He's even want to say ass. here. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Right, they are Georgia. Clementine. Everybody's a real country. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, no. we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. I said this earlier, but the sound of flies really aggravates me, and that just seems to be a thing in these video games. Well, I'm glad Lee ain't hobbling around anymore, because he's getting on my nerves. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Be sure to check in with everyone, okay? What to do? Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need help? So what's, what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. I forgot Kenny was from Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Oh. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. The you government's gonna boat. start handing out shots. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, but people whatever's are gonna biting take them. and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. Right, we saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. I mean, I'll ask. Need any help? If he needs help. No, I think I got it. Cool, I'm out here. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean, in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No, but I'm gonna figure it out. Uh, no, I don't have any nah, kids. Nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. See ya. Okay, cool. Let's go check on folks over here. Hey, I'll check on. I'll be. I'll check on. Uh, hey there, girls. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, what do you do? You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Not first grade, oh, uh, sweet baby. How's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. <laughs> so you're good. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? How was the city? How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. You gotta do what you gotta do. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow. But even then, I can't take away the things we... The things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Uh, no. But, yeah, Anybody who... Everybody in their right mind would. <laughs> Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? <laughs> you were on your way to prison, sir. What do you do? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Very like cute. usual here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? Oop. I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. <laughs> not I used to. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. Well, it can't stay like this. I was going to prison. N not, no, I used to. What, what? Uh. Yeah, my mistake. 
We'll all be home soon. We don't need to go into the Back details. In <laughs> okay, Lee. You good, Clem? You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Cute. All right. Let me go check on everybody else. Where? Oh, I was like, where are they at? Can we walk a little bit faster? Come on. Let's check on Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Oh. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I'm on it. Bob the Builder. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Okay, but if it was a zombie... Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. Oh no! He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Well, hopefully you the kid was things like that. A zombie. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Uh, do yeah. I just have you had to off one yet? Monkey oh. stomp. Uh. Bash. Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. It'd be like well, that. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Oh well. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and <laughs> thinks inviting people in as a Sean won't forget that. I'm there. sorry. I was just being honest. How how's your family? No, how's your family? Uh, yeah. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. <laughs> okay, sure. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. That's it? Okay. But can't say I didn't help. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. No. Anyway. You don't even know me like that, though. You might want some help in the barn. Let me go check on Herschel. What they said on Fox News. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Okay, I'm going. Yep. How do we get to the barn? Okay. That's them. To the barn I go. Check on Daddy Hirsch. Hey. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Mm -hmm. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. This farm's a nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? You're asking too many questions. My parents are in Macon, was my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? What? I don't care, but sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. 
Like, what's going on? Go! I'll get my gun! Go oh, no! Sean, get up! Not you on the man leg! Oh my god! What do I do? What do I do? I hope the kid, I hope the kid, I hope the kid, I hope the kid. Oh, come on now. Can I go over here and help him? Nope, too late. Okay. <laughs> I got you. They're almost through. Get this tractor off of me. Please, help me. Please. Oh no! I, I thought I'd be able to do both. Maybe I should have just. Maybe Kenny could have got his kid and I should have. Hmm. Perch and I are gonna let it stay. We gotta go. <laughs> Get the fuck out all right, of here! Alright, 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 we gone, we gone. I'm sorry. We gone! Sorry! Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I helped the kid! I was worried about the boy. But you weren't worried about that. I Please. can't be in two places at once! Let's go. This is stupid. Get out and never All right, back. whatever. Bye. You didn't even think they were real, so let's go. What are we? What are we standing around looking for? Let's go. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. Come on, <laughs> let's go. Come on, Clem. Be rolling with Kenny and the crew. I don't know what they wanted me to do. <laughs> like, could I could have saved both, or if I would have helped Sean, would Duck die? Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Average prescriptions? Look. Is that your people place? Hey there! You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Why are y'all yelling? Fuck! Why are y'all yelling? Why are y'all yelling and drawing attention to yourselves? Goofy. Stupid. <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> Duck gonna die. Oh! Duck head. Yes ma'am! Shit count out shooting with the skirt on. We can't should, take risks like this. I should have saved the man who duck out here about I to die. Door, stay shut no matter what. I fucking mean it. Oop. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? I don't know. They would have died out there. Then we let them. We can't trust anybody. We already know that. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I, I have to pee. Oh, poor baby. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you in would. In a minute. In a minute, Clem. In a minute. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. 
I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy right. shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Oh no, is he bit? He wasn't bitten. Hell he wasn't. We have to end this now. Wait! Over my dead body. We'll is... dig one hole. No, no I'm one cleaning hole. him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We no. already seen this Stop happen. All this we let screaming. Stay and, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw Who him out. Who said he was bitten? Who in. said he was bitten? Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. I'm not trying to say it. Like, calm, really. Calm. We relax. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Kid. Nobody threatens my boy. Relax. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Everybody, Nobody's just relax. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us. Y'all fucking real reckless. Here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those Who things. Who said he was what bitten? What are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Why well, I gotta stop it? I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. Yeah. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about dying. No, I'm gonna Lee? kill him. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Yeah, not probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. He's just a boy. little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. I am sick of him. No, you don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <laughs> Lee is about that action. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Y'all didn't even check the plans? <laughs> now, oh, come on, Lee. Are you serious right now? Get away from her, you son of a bitch! <laughs> I'm like, no, I'm matching this button. Yeah. I'm sick of Lee because he even fell way too many times. You okay? We can't depend on you because every That's other great, second you over here tripping, stumbling. Like, come on. But I'm saying, y'all didn't check the bathroom or nothing. Like, y'all didn't clear the place out before you locked yourself yeah. in. Because that's goofy. And now the gun shot and brought everybody in. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta be smarter. Is that the military? <laughs> Who air? Who air? Oh. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! He finna have a heart attack. Uh, uh, uh. Doing all that yelling. Calm down. She told you he's got a bad heart. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Hmm. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. Uh, right. you thought, you exactly thought it was gonna Fort be? Knox. Like, what? what do you suggest? 
We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon mm -hmm. as you can. I'm gonna check in with you, Clementine. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. You shouldn't get him nothing the way he was hollering at people. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. <laughs> it's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. <laughs> Who cares? I would have. <laughs> like, money doesn't matter anymore, sweetie. Glad it wasn't looted. How lame. I'm not giving her the engine bar or him. I'm gonna give Clem the energy bar first. Where's she at? What you need to eat? We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I what? know, hon. Where's Clem? <laughs> That's your people. So you're just not gonna say anything about that? Where's Clem? Okay. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. He good? We'll do our damnedest. I'll worry about that later. Not alive inside. Oh no. Oh, she was with me the whole time. I didn't. <laughs> Can't think about them in here. No. Hmm. Not him tearing. Find face anything? Off. Oh. a photo of the family who owned this place. It might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Who? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Not a state this is your senator. Parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but mm. I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Not her knowing I paid attention to everything. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No, I did not. No, I've been sticking to first names for a reason. Come on. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Please. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Mm, hey, Glim. So... Everyone out there seem all right to you? Yeah. Well... Maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? <laughs> well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. 
I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. I'm like, can I leave? Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. <laughs> okay. Wait, what's going on? I thought the exit was saying exit the room. And I'm like, that's not what I'm trying to do right now. This door leads to the back alley. No, it's for parents. Come on. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> trying to be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Larry is definitely questionable. Okay. Oh. What's that? This was my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog mm -hmm. ever could. Whoop shoplifters. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. <laughs> better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? <laughs> You was helping push the car, sure. so let's go. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything else? That's not what I meant. Baby it's girl. not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> Do you have kids? No. Do not. You don't have a family? Uh, no, do you play sports? <laughs> what do your parents do? Like, my mom is a that. doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Very Those nice. are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Not social yeah, studies. like that. Sweet baby. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> she right, said, further. back to the original point. Um, I know you tried to, <sighs> to deflect, but I asked you a question. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? No. Uh, it's complicated. No, not. It's just complicated. That's all. Just Why? Be honest with the it girl. Just is. But you love them, right? No. Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Not I got in some trouble, but keep that between us. I'm gonna be Damn. honest. I, I got into a fight once. I'm gonna be honest what with her. happened? And it ended really badly. And she is too After cute. that, I, I love wasn't allowed clone. to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. <laughs> you didn't say I killed someone. Ow! Oh! No, poor baby! Okay? She's bleeding! Is it bleeding? A little. A little? Ooh, that blood was running. I'll find you a bandage. Now I gotta find a bandage? Oh, look, first aid kit right there. Can we uh, apply pressure to the wound and clean it a little bit before we start just doing stuff? Okay. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Too cute. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. No. 
Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? Mm, they'll uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. Do we need that? Because what? <laughs> it's the remote to my dad's TV. Okay. How do I use the things in my little inventory? That's what I figured. I was like, that it's not gonna work. Child, anyways. Is there anything in here that I'm missing? Can we go? Alright, clown. Let's roll out. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No. No. I'm not gonna lie wasn't. to her. Oh. Was he bad? He was. him with his wifey. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? Or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, alright? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. And you got your family here. No, no. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you wanna do. Somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Mm -hmm. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Carly said, Let me know I'm as soon as you want to head out. Ready to I go. Can use the jog. Not use the jog. Use the jog. Let me go check on them or whatever. I'm not giving them the candy bar. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. Uh, it's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Yes, we've been through them already. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone Girl, whatever. Was. That was hearts acting up. Don't there. apologize now. And that violence before with my dad. That didn't help. He was doing it. You from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Glenn? Oh no, Are it, you okay? They pulled bodies out of the office. That was his parents. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. Oh no. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. 
Well, tell him to stop arguing with people. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you. See? Yeah, he doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying Same. some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. All right, girl. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh, um, is a real genius. Oh, I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I really don't care what she thinks about I'm going to get back to him. Sounds good. All right, let me go uh, check on... Not check on... Oh, let me go check on uh, Katya and the crew. Um, let me get baby baby girl this... Uh, this energy bar. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Sure, she's hungry. Yeah, take care of her, Clementine. That's the homie. The pills are in there. Why would I give anybody else the bar? No, I'm not ready to go, so I'm not gonna talk to her. I forgot you were here. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. <laughs> no, the gate out there is closed. Not yet. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Mm. Uh, uh. Not now. Uh, not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Okay. Um, where do I? I don't wait. I already talked to them. Let me. T let me go with old girl and call it call it a day. What is this? What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Oh, no! Couldn't figure it out, huh? Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Give me the radio. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. I didn't mean to put it down. Go ahead. How do I examine volume? Nothing there. Hmm, nothing. It's got batteries? There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Goofy. You know, no batteries in that thing. Goofy, uh, ma'am. Yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. You don't know how to find batteries? Oh, there's another energy bar. Hmm. They can get their own food. Now I gotta find batteries? They sure got energy bars all over the place. Try to get some rest, hon. How can good. I with those things out there? Hey, Lee. You really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed. He was doing too much. Tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What were you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. True. <clears throat> What's the plan? 
Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They, uh, pulled some bodies out of the office before we got here. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah? We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast, I guess. Hey. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We mm -hmm. can't kill ourselves over We him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, you don't have any choice. I guess. Try to let it go. Anyways, uh, I was just trying to help save your boy. Now you got all this guilt. Where are the batteries? Well, clearly they're not over there since the camera won't let me. Where, where are the batteries? Can we just go? Do we have to find the batteries? Are the batteries in the office? Like, food bank. Okay. I'm gonna go back in the office, I guess, since it doesn't seem like there are batteries, batteries out here. Nope, that's the bathroom. I'm big tripping. No batteries. Okay. I guess the batteries are, are in here. Not Clem popping up behind me. She said, I'm stick beside him. Are there batteries in here? No. Where are the batteries? I'm out here wandering around looking for batteries. Can I take the ones from the remote? How do I... I looked at the circle on the shelves and it was... Oh! How do I... I've got things in my pocket. How do I look at those? Do they have the controls option? How do I... That's it. Action, move character. <laughs> I'm confusion. Because it says I have things like in my pocket. And I can't. I can't do anything with it. All right. I am confusion. Where are the batteries? Uh, are you serious? On the floor? 
<laughs> on the floor. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Oh, okay. You ready to head out? You got it. You? Sick of chit-chatting, people. Yeah. Let's go. Alright, Clem. I'll be back. Get down! Uh Please don't start shooting, ma'am, because the gun's going to attract them. I'm going to need her to not so, to be so trigger happy, because... Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys! Oh, man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! Hurry up. Hurry up. The right then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go. Now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas. And then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Do we have to oh, go? It? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. Oh. You guys are suicidal. I'm like, oh, we could just go. With or without you. Think about if it was you. Clearly, on, she wants to be go left save alone. Let's damsel in distress. We could have just left her alone. We gotta get all the way over there. We all the way over there. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quiet. Put the Always gun away. Now let's have a look around. Oh man, she's eating something. So we got that one right there, close. Oh, I didn't want it. The girl's behind that door. Those two seem to be on the scent. You got me out here playing a stealth game? I didn't know we were playing a stealth game. There's one back there, trying to get into a room. Oh. I didn't see anyone actually in there. How am I supposed to do this? We can hide by that pickup. Okay, what else? I don't... I don't like this. Because what am I supposed to do? I saw one lurking on the other side of that car. That's everything I know, man. But, you know, watch out. Get down. Okay, I'm going to go behind the truck. His parents are dead. We already confirmed that. I wonder if there's anything in the pickup. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. Breaking the window is not quiet.
Of course it's locked. Is there any other way to... I don't want to bust the window. Not is Glenn setting him up. I don't think Glenn's setting him up. But I don't think they're... Their groaning attracts the others. How are you going to kill that one by the car without attracting the others? Is there a way for me to get in the... <sighs> is there a way for me to get in there without busting the window? I'm trying to be stealthy, I promise, but I I don't know how I'm supposed to get in the in the truck without making noise. I don't know. Like I'm trying to be quiet and make it easy on us. No, go down. Why does right and up do the same thing? That's annoying. I'm gonna just punch it. I know that's not what you're supposed Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be okay, careful. that didn't work. So what am I supposed to do? Bruh, this is making me mad. Like, what am I supposed to do? He's not going anywhere. What am I supposed to do? Let's head back to that wall. Safe there. But is there anything over there that I can I can use? What? This is getting annoying. What what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna try it again. I think I found a pretty damn good way to stop these guys quietly. Now we just have to get it quietly. I don't know how to get in there. You're done trying to punch out windows. You're done trying to punch out windows. So what am I supposed to do? Literally, what am I supposed to do? All right, I'm gonna go back over there. Is there something over here that I'm not seeing? I'm I'm confusion. We should keep looking around for weapons. I'm trying, and there's nothing for me to see. They really want to get into that room. They really want to get into that room. Alright, let me go back and peek over the wall and see if there's something I'm not seeing. Like, I don't... Ain't nothing over here. Oh no! That's not what I wanted to do! Okay, maybe it was? No, back it up. Right, like I legit don't see anything. I'm not sure I can take them both out myself, even if I had a weapon. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing here? We're you gonna make it out here, except for Carly's gun, and we can't use that much. You got any bright ideas? Like what? Back to the wall. I don't see anything. I don't. I don't see any. 
breathing. It, what? Something over where? I do not. I do not see anything. There's a truck over there. Maybe we can find you a weapon. Oh, uh, we already looked in the truck, and we need to get in the truck. Uh, Okay, wait. It looked like something popped up when I... No, just hiding in front of the truck is what popped up. Oh my god. We can hide by that RV. If we're quiet and keep our heads down. And do what? And do what while we're over there? Huh? And do what, though? And do what? Alright, I'm gonna go. What's over here? Ooh, what is that? Good luck Can we use that? Can we smother the gun? What I have in mind. Can we use that to smother the gun? Wanna head over to the right? Come on, let's go back to the truck. All this time they have me looking for a pillow. What are you going to do with that? I don't really know. Do you have any tricks for getting into cars? Not without tools or making a bunch of noise. And none with pillows. You, with the gun, Miss Ma'am. I love this gun, but it sure isn't quiet. How do I get her to do that, huh? Is this so difficult? I'm done trying to punch out windows. What are you gonna do with that? Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. For getting into cars. Can I have her Not without tools? Mash. A bunch okay. Of All right. Hold on. With pillows. I got an idea. Use the pillow as a silencer, right? And you use it old on old buddy right here. Get out your gun. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. We that in there. Sick. <laughs> okay, who's next? That took whoa, way more than I thought it would. Okay, so there's two over this way. We should go and get her. I guess we're going to go get him. the car and do what that's gonna make me noise no. stop 
<laughs> no, no. Oh, that's one way to do it. That was awesome. <laughs> Whoever is in there is boo-hooing their heart out. Okay. So what now? I still can't get in the car. What? Okay. Can we go back over here? And go get baby girl? Like, I don't... Or are we gonna get her last? Like, I don't understand. I guess we're gonna get her last. No? Or not? Like, I don't. I didn't ex expect this to be so complicated. Like, I. <laughs> We can't just light him up? Like, why? How am I? How are we supposed to get her? How are we supposed to get her? Okay, back to the truck, I guess. I really didn't think this was going to be that complicated. We can't just walk up and go get her now? Like, I don't understand. What what am I not getting? Oh wait. Let me see the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. Whoever is in there is boohoo crying. Okay, I was. Let's go. Let's get active. I can scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Let's we'll go get old girl, and then go get old buddy, and then we out of here. Do I have to go back over here? I'll wait for him to get closer. Stab him in the head, Goofy. Lee, get him. Night, night. Thanks for having my back. For sure. Did he have your back, though? Because I feel like. <laughs> he was lacking, slacking a little bit. Don't, don't mind at all. Get your weapon back, homie. Take it out. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> that was Holy shit. Stupid. It's cool. Now we've got this. Oh. Are you two done? <laughs> She's like, can we, can we please? Alright, that's oh, fine. We got an axe. Let's go. Right. I'm just taking too long. Come on. Oh. Why don't you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell? Okay. We'll be right behind you. Why I gotta do everything? This is... We're doing a whole lot. I hope this person ain't already dead.
I'm like, when is it gonna give me the option to start swinging? Hello? Rat. This person better not be dead. Hello in there. We're here to help. <laughs> Just Please go. Let's go, guys. We did all that, and she don't even want to be bothered. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. We better leave her alone. I feel like trying to save somebody that don't want to be saved stop, just stop. is a waste of time. Coming out. We could have been gone. She probably got bit. Mm -mm. Why does she look like that? Oh God! I, I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's, she's been bit. Busy. We did what? all this for I a girl who's you, been bit. Away. I'm bit, but you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. Just left. I won't be fine. How are you going to be fine? Was bitten. You get sick and you die and and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Bye. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. I'm not giving her the gun. We can't let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up. Please! Oh, Jesus. Whoa. We all finna die. Making way too much noise. Just let her do it. Whoa, you, take it easy. It, you you want to help. Give her the pillow so it's not loud. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. It's not going to be Let's okay. It's all just... No, no, just let no. her pull the trigger. Oh, okay. All right, grab it and run because zombies are coming. Come on, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Zombies are coming. They heard the Let's gunshot. See? We don't have time to tarry. Shit. Let's go. Here they come. Get in. Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. Well, he the better next keep it cool. Is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. He better keep it cool. Since he got heart problems. All right. I don't feel like talking to everybody. Let me go outside with a buddy, I guess. Where are you at? Who is that? You good? How you doing, Glenn? You know. What's your next move? I don't know. I mean, you guys seem okay. What about your family? Yeah, I... I... Forget it, man. That's your business. <laughs> it's like, don't I worry hate about feeling it. like I can't do anything. I know the feeling, man. What's your story, Glenn? I deliver pizzas around here. I brought a couple to the Everts a few times. Sorry, I mean the folks that own this place. Just really good people. 
It sucks seeing this place like this. Isn't that the truth? All right. Back to the motor in. How can it be that bad so fast? You know, when things are taken away, people do crazy shit. I guess. But that's not me. I'm not giving up. Not for anything. Good, man. Good. I guess she really wanted that gun. You're right. Seems like. Should have just gave it to her. Why didn't you tell Carly to just give it to her? Well, well it was a waste of a, it was a waste of a boat down. Would you have given it to her? No way. Then you know why. You're right. How are you gonna come for me? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyways. Her oh, baby girl, how you doing? Hey there. Hi. How's your finger, Clem? Good. It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. Still, huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. You want another oh, one? No, Clem. I'll see if I can find something else for you. So, um... Are you okay? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh, I'm good. Lee, what's That's wrong good. Here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Well, you better go eat you some more of those snack I bars. I don't your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay, same. No. You're my guy? Oh, no. You know... We're going to try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. We'll sit tight. Okay. You want another uh, energy bar? Because I got plenty of those. Alright. Let's uh, take a walk around here. And, um... Do I need to check on Carly? Do we have to check in on all these people? You want an energy bar? Here. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Hey, Carly. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. No. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. Yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. Yep. In that parent's basement sort of way. Huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. Girl, get it together. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. Story of the century here, huh? Yeah, and I've got shit for recording equipment. And from the looks of it, there isn't going to be any shortage of first-hand accounts. You do radio? That's right. Well, until some piece of shit politicians yank our funding, and I hit the blogosphere. I'm still looking for batteries for that thing. I guess I need another Thanks. battery. I appreciate it. Okay. Better get back to it. Out of here. Yep. Thanks, by the way. Don't mention it. Just remember what I said. Yeah. I will. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to find an another battery. Didn't think that was a thing. Oh, there it is. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. We got batteries. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Okay. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Sure. 
Let's have a look around. Okay. Jesus. Yikes. Eat. As far as I can tell, that's all we care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. Yikes. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, really? I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Oh no. Yeah, there's uh, way too many. That place is full of TVs and electronics. That does us no good. Why would I open it? Look at the one trapped over there. Oh no! Better him than us. Huh? Is that his brother? Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? He could be a drugstore employee. So you're saying he might have the pharmacy keys? I'm saying he might have the pharmacy keys. <laughs> it's your brother. I don't know. Could be anybody, you know. They start rotting and get all chewed up and... Shut up, dog. Hmm. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. If we could somehow prove that he worked here, I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. You got the picture in your pocket. How do I... How do I get stuff out of there? Yes, he is a zombie. But oh, there we go. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we can make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. Let's just hope the power is still on. What are the odds? You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? All right, let's make a let's make a snappy. I got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Well, what else I gotta do? But it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. How do I... What What other diversion do we need? Those TVs are on. 
And I'm sure they're making a lot of noise behind that glass. Do I need them to make more noise behind the glass? Like, I don't understand. What's the objective here? Man, that's a hasty fortification job over there. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, what? let me look around. Am I supposed to chuck something out there? Because what? What are we doing? What are we doing? It's a combination lock. Okay, cool. Thanks. Like, there's nothing out here. Like, I'm surveying the area and TV store, hardware store, lock. Open sesame. That won't work. Oh, I was kidding. Are you universal, serious? But not that universal. I know, Doc. I hate it. <laughs> We should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. We already confirmed that part. Like, I'm not... Who's that? Oh my god. You can't reach that brick. Why? Why can't you reach the brick? Doc, oh. You want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. What? Did anyone ever have it? Look, man. There were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. Are you serious right now? We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Oh. But if I cut it off, they're gonna be... If, if I cut it off, then they're gonna come inside. There's gotta be... Okay. Looking around. Where are the windows? Am I really gonna have to chop this thing off? Because I don't see any other things. Okay. Oop. Awesome. Now to distract those things carefully. All right. I guess that's what I was supposed to do. Reach that brick. Open the gate, Goofy. don't miss because you know how you like to act there we go like that took way more than it needed to okay cool the time. run quickly come on get the jets let's go be Move. careful Move. Keep an eye out, will you? I don't think Doug will have my back. He doesn't seem like the trustworthy type to, you know, be about that action like that. No, this is brother. No. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad. We don't have time to do I all this. If you were there, you would have died for them. Assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Why are you yelling? I got to do this now, man. I got to do this. I don't trust Doug to have my back either. Sorry, bro. <sighs> bro, you making too much noise right now. Please be quiet. Dang, Lee! Come on. Alright. You still not dead? 
I was like, if you don't crack him upside the skull so we can get moving, thank you. I know this is really terrible, but we we got to keep it moving. Get the keys. God. Hurry up. Thank you. Let's go. There we go. We don't need to do all this. Run! Making all that doggone noise. Aggravating. Latch. Get inside. So now the door is unprotected? Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I just don't understand why. I don't know why they would put a lock on the gate and not be able to unlock it. That's goofy. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. We need to block that door. No? Okay. So much yelling. Ray? I was like, y'all are way too loud. Way too loud. If y'all know they can hear you and you're doing all that hooting and hollering, like y'all trying to die. We wanna Oh, oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Oh god. Oh no. Not there being an alarm. Everybody about to be in there. Everybody. Not sits with a screwdriver in her shoulder. She said, oh wait. What are we doing? You can't even walk good. Girl, sit down. He didn't know they had an alarm in there. This is your people place. You should have known that. Okay, that's getting loud. Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up right back. Do it fast. Why Come wasn't that already back there? Back. I don't plan on dilly dallying. <laughs> Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Right, All right, anymore. can he buy that action? He said, "Let's I'll go." As fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. I said we needed to barricade the door. Oop. Hey Lee, if we don't make it through this. Can we? Know that I think you're a great guy. Can we? we Not together right now. Like, Doug, don't don't say that foolish. You should know. Y'all, we don't have time for this. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Oh, shit. Oh, are you sure? Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, how, how many? How many bullets you got? Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh, Jesus. The <laughs> window is screwed. Go. Mm. We found something. Thank you. Oh, not the cane. My heart. My heart. Like she really been about that life. Huh. It's not letting me do anything. Oh, well, there goes that. Not partly dead too. They both died. No, I'm dead. Wait, 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 wait. But it wouldn't let me click anything. It wouldn't let me click anything though. It wouldn't let me click anything when I looked at the. Okay, whatever. Just run it back. Oh, it wanted me to get the purse. 
purse. It wanted me to get the purse. I was like, why wouldn't it let me click on her to help her? But I needed to get her purse. My bad. That's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. That's my fault. Get the purse. Get the purse. I mean, you know, Doug's a nice fucking guy, but Carly been about that action. Oh, no. Get him off of me. Oh my god. Let's go! Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They got Doug. Ah! They, they... You gotta move! <laughs> Too much is happening! Too much is happening! Oh my god! Come on, let's go! Run! Run! You're not covered with this, you son of a bitch! Let me up! Let me up! Let me up! What is happening? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. I was like, what Especially are we doing? He really sucker punched me! He really sucker punched me after I went and got the keys to get your funky medicine? <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? I want to Larry had to die because he really sucker punched me after I went and risked my life to get the keys to get your medicine. The whole reason why they were able to come in is because we had to go out there and get the keys to get in the pharmacy to get the medicine. And that's what... This is why you don't help people. That's why you don't help people. Huh? You good? Hey, Glenn. Okay. That's so sorry. I think I need to go. Oh. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped. Sir, your friends are probably Sounds dead. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Alright. Punk? Anyway, can... You gotta do what you gotta do. You do what you want. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Come on. All this silence and staring. I need to go talk to everybody else. Let's go. Bye. Won't see you again. There go Larry in the back. We gonna have to have some words and not kind ones. If they give me the option to cuss Larry out, I will. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. Thank we you, have to Kenny. Take care of each other. You a real yeah, one. We do. Hey, about Clementine. <laughs> yeah. Earlier, I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are gonna be just fine. We gonna be all right. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. Okay. Do I need to talk to her? Okay. What is with this camera angle? Oh, they want me to come over here. I'm like, what? What y'all gonna be looking at? How you doing, Carly? Thank you, lady. I'm okay. Larry can't be trusted. You know, they can't. considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop Clementine thinking about that. I don't care about nothing. We could have saved him, could we? I don't think so. 
happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. That's Lee's response. We just met. It happened pretty fast. We couldn't save them. It's just that I think that I liked it. Girls in the world. <laughs> I'm sorry, Carl. It's Not okay. car. Thanks, though. We got nicknames. There's been already? a lot of death in the past few days. Anyway, I'd rather be alone. I think. You liked him because it was the oh, end of the world. He Wait, saved your life. Lee? What is it? We had a background conversation at the start thing. We both needed Not you. How did you choose? You me. Don't do this. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Girl, come on. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too. Can we not do this? Come on. Duck, shut up. Clementine does not care about anything you're talking about. Look, she does not care. She is looking down and away. Read the room. Punk! I'm coming for you next. But you know what? He wasn't. She does not want to hear anything you're talking about. Thank you. Leave her alone. I'm sorry there's uh, not a lot of kids here. And I'm sorry the oh, one that is here is annoying. It's, I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. Maybe we can fix it. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Maybe we can fix it. Lee, come here for a sec. Let me go deal with this. Oh, man. Clementine. I owe you a hit because you got a free lick. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I'm not worried about your funky daughter. Don't nobody want her. I know who you are. Who? Cool. I don't give a shit about what happens to you. Whatever. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you. <laughs> you tried to get Clementine killed by getting me body. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Punk? Ugh! My dad if they give me a choice to save him, I'm not. Thank you, me. Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. We're lucky to have you. Do they give me a choice to save with her daddy? <laughs> oh, that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. Not until the military rolls through. I actually through. agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Oh yeah, but at yeah, least electricity's right. still running. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Never mind! <laughs> Ew, spoke a little too soon. Universe said, no, no, mm -mm. you thought the lights were still on. Oh, is that the end of the first episode? I thought I was getting enthralled. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing? Don't hold on to that energy bar. I'm really her. hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what Oops. we want! Mm -hmm. There's too many of them! Ah, ah, You're not ah. shooting arrows. You've never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Kenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. Your dad was screaming at everybody. Like, what are you talking about? No more, please! No more, please! 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 Ah. 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 
Yikes. All right. Well, that was episode one. When did they, with Lee's parents, they said that when they got there, there were two bodies in the office and they dragged them out. So we don't know where they are, but honesty. 54% of players were honest. What did you say? 50% chose duck. It looks like everything is half and half. Interesting. Here we go. Deuces. Thank you for tuning in. Of course, and then we're back to the flies. Thank you for tuning in, y'all. Be easy. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. Thank you for tuning in, as always. And until next time, peace. Oh, 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 oh